Gavin, I said, why don't you play this deck? I want you to play it like this. <laughs> well, if you don't get to choose. <laughs> All right, so we did a double oh, miss. Wow. Okay. The coins so, of fate so, yeah, on the so side. So it's merely whatever twenty four. How big did we say it was? Twenty two thousand. Yeah. Did somebody put the odds on the screen? Like, what are the odds of that it's stream only, happening? It's only a twenty two thousand. Thank you to our editor. This episode of Scribe Babies is brought to you by Whatnot, our favorite social marketplace. Whatnot is a live selling app where you can shop for your favorite TCGs like Magic the Gathering. And thanks to Whatnot, you can also get a free fifteen bucks to spend on their website or app. All you have to do is sign up using our unique link in the description below. And you can learn more about Whatnot later on in this video. We would like to thank our sponsor, Fanalytics, where the goal is clear, Collect. With an algorithm specifically designed to remove the guesswork from collectibles, you can easily sort your favorite comics, trading cards, and more. Look forward to the upcoming launch in March 2023. To learn more and keep updated with Fanalytics, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Welcome to Scribe Babies. I'm Louis Stardust. I'm Tori the Best. And today we are here with Gavin and Baron. We're going to be playing some casual magic. And by casual magic, I mean, uh, I really don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, not scary at all. Not scary at all. But we're going to pass it over to Baron if you want to introduce yourself and tell us what you're playing. Hi, everybody. My name is MTG Baron. I predominantly do comedy-based skits on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I will be playing Marisi, Breaker of the Coil. Uh, this beautiful gato is the king of second place because I'm going to be goading everybody until it's hopefully a 1v1 at the end. Uh, I've got a little bit of control, so I like to call it Naya Control. I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's begun. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Gavin Verhey, Principal Game Designer on Magic the Gathering, a game you might recognize at Wizards of the Coast. And today I'm playing my babies, Oquan and Zender Split. I love this coin flip deck. This is the deck that the Secret Lair was based on, um, and I'm excited to actually bring it to the table and either smash or get smashed. What is... you got a lot of these, huh? That's the thing? That's a lot of mana. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's just all, it's 99 lotuses or 98 lotuses and two commanders. So these are my sleeves. These are special uh, R&D game design sleeves. Um, well, I'm going to be playing a deck that I don't know if any of you have ever heard of before, um, but it's Edgar Markov. And I'm playing this because I knew Gavin would be here and Gavin uh, makes really great cards and uh, does not regret them ever at all. So I'm playing Edgar Markov. I'm trying to get as many cool little vampires out to do fun things. There is like the very basic combo of like a squeeze of blood and maybe we get there, right? Um, but it's mostly just vampires because they make me happy and yeah. Very cool. I am playing Kalia the Bash, surprise to no one. Um, Kalia is one of my favorite decks, hence the playmat, hence the name. I'm hoping to cast some dragons, angels, demons, and have some fun with it. Oh my. Oh yeah. my. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, so this was my, my my baby deck that I love so much on Scry Babies. Yeah, I regret Edgar a lot, so I'm glad I get to play against it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, one. Just good old Eminence, you know? You gotta love Eminence. Oh, listen, I want to do a pod of all the Eminence commanders, like 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 a yeah, pre-con yeah, yeah. pod, because they're all yes. great. I really liked it. It's fun. And we've already determined that you're going to kick us off. I'm going to try. Right? Yeah, the right. go deck oh. goes first. Oh, was it you? It oh, was, my. yes. Yep. Nice try, Lua. You stole Tori's bit. Stole my line. All right, we're gonna start with a good old Wooded Foothills. I'll go down to 17. 17? Yes, well not 17. Oh, I'm not, I'm not playing modern anymore, sorry. <laughs> Fetch, crap. That's a Take really two. powerful uh, uh, shock land. <laughs> I was like, 37? So I fetched it in Temple Garden. I'm gonna go ahead and play a Giver of Runes. Nice. Yeah. I will pass my turn. A great riff on good old, good old Mother of Runes. Just to play a good old Path of Ancestry and say go ahead. A single mom to... What's the thing? Oh my god. <laughs> That's her. No, I like your version better. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna play a swamp. You can tell it's a swamp. Because... The way it is. Yep, it's it's for sure. Because of the word swamp, it's a strong start. I'm having a strong start with the soul ring turn uh, one. Savage. Which I will tap for a skull clamp. Nice. Uh, that you gotta is, ban that card. You wanna ban it? Yeah, soul ring? Soul ring. Well, it's too bad because that's not your job. Pass the turn. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> Good old soul ring. I'm going to play a planes. Yeah. I'm also going to play stepmom. Hey. hey. Wow. Good wow. Look and that. I'll pass the turn. I feel like I missed out of the one drop. Show everybody my hand. I mean, that's not a bad turn. I mean, it's an okay turn. <laughs> right. I, I, I too played a land. Yeah. Let's go with the crag crown pathway, and we've got a beautiful Boulder's Gate Arcane Signet. Cool. And I will pass my turn. Yep. No if attacks. If you like it, put a signet on it. <laughs> All right. Well, I got a join join party here. I'm gonna go an island, mm -hmm. a talisman of creativity. Yeah. We're gonna deal a point of damage to myself. Got it. Got it. Gotta love that. I'm gonna cast a ponder. Ponder. Uh, I love a, that. Once so upon pretty. a midnight dreary, you know. You'd be pondering? Uh, I'd be pondering. Pondering his orb. I'm going to go for the old shuffle draw. I never do that. 
I always write, you can do that. Oh, the shuffle? Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> well, you, you might especially forget you're doing it playing with this version. Because you're like, yeah. oh, what is, what is what, this? What? I look at four? How many cards? Is it three? All of them. Can I shuffle to put on the bottom of my library? Do I scry? No. So oh, I'm presenting like, a cut? Yeah, I, just, I don't want to cheat when, so... I, when I draw my soul ring or whatever, you know. All right, that's it. Right. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. Okay, I'm going to play this swamp. Swamp. Then I will do something. I'm going to play a card called Black Market Connection. Oh, oh that card. Lordy. Huh? Did you? Yeah. Oh, look at me. That's another one. There buddy. you go. Look at that. Look at um, little buddies. This is some buddies. We're, we're, uh, we're two for six so far. Yes. We'll, we'll see what else happens. Um, this is a, a really cool card. I like it a lot. I haven't had a chance to play it ever yet. So I'm very excited about that. Um, this is going to happen at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase. I'll choose one of these, cool. uh, which is either create a treasure token, lose a life, draw a card, lose two life, or create a three-two color shapeshifter creature, draw them with changeling. So and lose a life, for three life. It's fine. A lot of words. Why not all of them? <laughs> full send. Full send. <laughs> instead, I would like to. Well, not instead, but I'm going to tap this and put out a vampire. Nice. But guess what happens? Because my commander. Ooh. Is in the command zone. Now who needs to cast their commanders? You know, that's, that, right. that's so old-fashioned. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put out a little vampire with that too. Yeah. And yeah, technically combat's a thing, right? Yep. Um, so this happens. Oh, it's pre-combat main phase. Oh, pre-combat, yeah. Nice try. Okay, I'm sorry. We're, we're sneaky. We're sneaky. We're <laughs> unbelievable. So the reason why for all those people out there wondering yeah. is pre-combat main phase is because we had it in your upkeep originally, but it was hard to make the choice before you drew your card for the turn. Oh. So you didn't know if what if you're gonna need the mana or you know, whatever. So we put it in your pre-combat main phase so you could draw your card, see all your options, and then figure out what you wanted to do. So I'm not gonna do anything else because I have no more mana. I'm gonna pass the turn to you. Cool. I'm gonna draw for turn. I forget he is all I appreciate that Lua has seven permanents in play and Tori has two. <laughs> yes. Well, Simple this as the card way. is kind of good. Yeah. Right? So this card is kind of good. And this card <laughs> yeah. is kind of good. Well, actually, a lot of your cards are kind of good. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to play a John Avon Mountain. Well, I'm going to tap two. It's very important. Talisman of no. Conviction. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. Whoa. Yeah. Convict. I'm going to pass turn to you. Alrighty. I'm going to be the unfortunate one to start the bullying. So yes. we're going to go three for aura shards. Oh. Yes. I will play a Dryad Arbor trigger. I'm going to pick the Black Market Connections. Why? It's a lot of value no. on turn two. But I really just wanted to make one thing happen. I know you did, but I'm going to say no. Why isn't, isn't there something that's so much worse? The soul ring. This isn't so. CDH. Get rid of the enchantment. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. The best thing you can do is redirect him to your soul ring. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> I was going to say. Like, soul 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 right? Right? Or the skull clamp, yeah. Yeah, Skull Clamp isn't even useful in this deck, it's fine. I will pass my turn. Alright, at that, you know, the commander makes one of vampires, I really find it difficult to believe. Alright, I'm gonna draw my card. You're scaring me. Gavin. I'm not that scary. You're doing the thing. Just, you're doing some math. At least you're, I'm an English major, you don't want me to do math. It's, it's, it's very complicated, very fast. A blue um, red deck doing math? What? You're doing the, the grinder thing where you're holding the card and just waiting. Uh, <laughs> anticipation. Yeah, that's, all right, I'm gonna go for the old gamble. Oh, Ooh, we like that. No, no gamble, no future. You know, so right. just gotta, just gotta go for it. All right, I'm gonna go get this. Um, and then there's cut if you'd like to. In yeah. fact, please, please do because it was not a very thorough shuffle. Oh gosh. Should we stack your deck actually? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so now's the fun part of gamble. I need to discard a card in my hand at random. I'm gonna shuffle up a little bit. I've got um, seven of these here magical cards, and um, I'll ask a special special person, Tori. One through seven. Top is one, bottom is seven. Which one should I discard? Mm, seven. So that's the bottom Ooh. card. So this is the card, the bottom card. Bottom card. Fiery Gambit goes away. Is that what you got? I'll let the viewers at home decide. <laughs> so the thing about a coin flipping deck is you have bad cards that flip coins. You also do happen to have a few good cards that flip coins. Yes. Oh. I'm going to play Mana Crypt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to play uh, Reliquary Tower. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, and four. Five, um, and I'm gonna cast Zender Split, the Eye of Wisdom. So at the beginning of combat on my turn, I flip a coin till I lose a flip. Whenever I win a coin flip, I draw a card. Cool. So I'll move him up to my combat step. In the Scrap Baby hoodie, I have this handy dandy coin. Whoa. 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 This is a Zender Split, this is heads. This is Oakwan, it's red, it's butts. I'm always gonna choose heads. Um, so I'm gonna go to combat and flip this till I lose a flip. I might draw 20 cards, I might draw zero cards. Let's find out together. Blue is what I want. <laughs> <laughs> it landed on me. 
I, like, that doesn't count. If it I lands know, on but someone. it was just really funny. All right. All right, uh, I'll draw zero cards. Uh, so very strong play, you could all tell. So that's going to be the whole deal. Go ahead. All right. It's not even a main ability, so you could just lose for that guy. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just, just, just draw your side out. Win 100 flips in a row, that's it. <laughs> that, that, that's the whole caboodle there. See, I love the idea of coin flips, but also I am awful at it. Like, so yeah, that yeah, would yeah. just make me stress out. Some people time. roll dice, and I was like, look, if you're going to if you're gonna play you gotta, this, I, I didn't roll dice flip. when you were like, playing on spell table, which is a lot easier to see. Yeah. But here, we're flipping coins. We got to flip you, coins. It's the law. I've seen people flip coins in the middle of the table, just landing on everybody's cards, though, and it's just like, yeah, it's the chaos. It's like the like chaos worm. Yeah. You just gotta nail them down. I think what I would like to do is quip, <laughs> draw two cards. Quip yes. this oh, little yeah. vampire. A, a great choice. Why not? And draw a great choice. two cards, please. A very powerful Magic the Gathering interaction. There. Big value. Yes, I will play this land for turn. It is a mountain. Yep. I will play somebody, some lady. Oh, oh. Olivia yeah. Baldarin. Good Olivia. to see you, Olivia. With that, we get another vampy. You're living large over there. A little vampy. She's the the old one, the three three, the little like. <laughs> <laughs> I felt my bones going to dust. No, 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 I always see this. It's not the, the ancient one. Not the most recent one. Yeah. Like she's just thriving. Um, so yeah, we got another vampire. I have this one, two. I everybody's got something. You have. We both have grip givers right now. That's yeah. Cool. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I even want to do anything. I think I want to just stay here and pass. Cool. Right. But if I had a card, what? I, oh, 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 I don't know something. what you're talking about. <laughs> so rude. I'm going to play a swamp. Yeah. I finally got it. Ooh, Yay! I'm gonna cast my now, commander. There it is. Oh, Lordy. The name of the game. Call yeah, the name of you, Tori of the Vest. It is. That's me. It's Tori news. of the Vest enters the battlefield. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a cat with her. I'm yes. going to pass the turn to you. Could you Alrighty. imagine if it was like the, the, the demons, cat is, dragons, and then cats? <laughs> like instead. I would love that. The, the cat is forthcoming. I, I can only presume. Yes. Yeah. There will be a cat dragon perfect for this deck soon. So we're gonna do the Boulderloft pathway. And I'm going to tap four for the Gato. There it is. Oh, uh, another Mr. cat. Garino. So I will trigger aura shards, and Indeed. unfortunately, I will set you back a little bit with your mana crypt. Sure, that seems fair. I will um, go to combat. Well, I guess I can do it before combat. I'm going to give Dryad Arbor protection from white, and I will swing at you, Tori. So I oh, do not have call you coming my way next turn. I will take it. All right, you creatures are goaded. All right. Hooray. I will pass my turn. Uh, a rules text in Maurice's that a lot of people forget about is there's no spells at all during combat. So, no one to cast spells. Don't cast spells during combat. It's the moral of that story. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Well, then I won't. Very sad about that uh, Blue Bean Blown Up. So I'm play a Soul Ring. Oh, well, there you go. Ooh. I drew that one off the top, <laughs> drew that one off the top. Um, Wait, did we cut your deck before that? <laughs> I, I mean, I, look, I gave you ample warning. I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to transmute Muddle the Mixture to go find a card that costs oh. two and put it into my hands. Transmute, underutilized. Transmute, got it, gotta utilized. love it. I'm gonna go find ye oldie Crux Thumb and put that into my hand. Uh-oh. I have one mana floating, and uh, with that mana, I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna take a damage right here, dropping down to- Yeah, it's about time. 38. Yep. And I'm going to cast Tavern Scoundrel. So when I win a coin flip, I uh, make two treasure tokens. Love that. Two, wow. I'm going to go to my combat step and flip. What's going to happen? I could draw cards and make treasure tokens, or maybe straight up nothing. I'll once again <laughs> choose blue. I love this deck because truly, I no one knows what's going to happen. Yeah. Get it. Blue, 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 blue. blue. Yay! Right. I draw a card and make two treasure. I can see all rooting on. <laughs> winning. I draw a card and make two more treasure tokens. So this is a Rhystic Study and a Smothering Tithe? I'll draw a card and make two treasure tokens. Six. Wait, so you're at six treasures? Got yep. it. Draw a card and make eight. eight treasure tokens. Oh. Draw a card, wow. Ten. Draw a card and make 10 treasure tokens. That's not bad. Oh, All right, that ends and fail. So I'll just draw five cards and make 10 treasures. Just gonna draw five. Yeah, pretty good. Got the biggest treasure of all, me. So oh, there we go. Hold on. You're so cute. Thank you, thank you. I get that all the time. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want one. Uh, I can get okay. Lua. I actually oh. brought one just for you. Yeah. So there, there you go, so no problem. Well, you can use that as your vampire to sacrifice yeah, this is my later vamp. on. Yeah, things, things I also get out. Yeah, <laughs> kill that, you off. After, after, after midnight, I become a vampire. Okay, um, so that all happens. That's scary, that's cool. Um, you have a lot of mana. Don't really have any good attacks though. You so have a lot of cards in hand. Okay, so. I got a bunch of cards in my hand. I think what we're gonna do for my next trick is we're going to, uh, I can't cast spells during combat. Correct. So I'm going to leave the combat. Oh, okay. I'm gonna exile five cards from my graveyard and spend three 
mana there. Work time ritual. And I'm going to, <laughs> to cast Dig Through Time. <laughs> the, 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 the original work time ritual, oh. some would call it. I'll look at my top seven Sorry. cards, put two into my hand, and the rest on the bottom of my library. So, Remember four. when I was scary? I, was I mean, that was cool. I so, did get rid of one of his things. I tried. Yeah, I didn't do it again. <laughs> I, I appreciate appreciate your efforts. Uh, I'm going to put two of these into my hand, and the rest will go on the bottom of my life. In any order, wow, I gotta order these correctly. Wouldn't wanna, but in 70 turns from now, mm -hmm. you just, you gotta be ready. I mean, ready. turns yeah, like ready. that'll only be like three turns from now, drawing that many cards. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be ready for it. And then I'm going to spend three mana. I'm gonna play Rhystic Study. Another one. And then I'll play Hall of the Bandit Lord as my land. And I will pass the turn to you. Go ahead. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. You heard us say earlier in the video that Whatnot is a live selling app popularly used for selling TCGs like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! But did you know it's also used for other collectibles such as comics, figures, sports collectibles, vintage toys, clothing, and so much more? We had the honor of representing Whatnot at their booth at MagicCon Philly, and we got to meet so many of our amazing Scrybabies viewers in person. It was an amazing experience, and we are so grateful for it. We are so excited to announce our partnership with Whatnot and that we will be live every other Friday on the app. You can catch us selling some of our personal collection, doing some post-episode Q&As, and even some awesome giveaways while we're live. So when you're done watching the latest Scrybabies release, make sure you come over to the Whatnot app and come hang out with us while we're live. And don't forget to use our link in the description below to get a free 15 bucks to spend on whatnot. It's free to create an account and you'll get that 15 bucks to spend anywhere on the site. You can use it in our personal web store. You can use it for singles. You can use it for collectibles. You can use it for packs. You can use it for honestly anything that you want. Thanks again to whatnot. Now let's get back into the episode. A rhystic study in this economy? Yeah, says the lady with the soul ring. Yeah, man, no, man, no problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna play this castle walk thing. Okay, uh, combat. Everybody's got creatures, huh? Mm hmm. How big is your criminal? It's a 5 4 big cat, though. Mm, that's cool. You wouldn't like a something with plus three, plus three in death touch, right? We can't attack here. Oh, you can't attack? No, just you, use, oh, use your okay. creatures on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you play and creatures you with haste, they can attack me. You can't cast spells during combat, but ability is totally fine. Yeah, right? apparently. So, yep. Yeah. Mercy's got a weird, All right. a weird mission. So I'm going to go to combat. Yep. I'm going to pay three mana to make this dude get plus three, plus three, and gain death touch until end of turn, which I'm going to swing at you, which would make him a... Four five, right? Four five. Four five, because I'm yep. bad at math. And then you don't have flyer, do you, Gavin? Nope, go fish. Uh, a little Olivia for you. Uh, nothing else, because my vampire is total yep. tiny. I'm just going to take three. Go yep. No blocks. I'm at 35. Uh, I will be at uh, 33. Perfect. All right. Then I have some cards in hand. I misplayed my land, and that's my fault. I'm going to tap this and get rid of this little guy. Draw two cards. Great choice. Yep, seems pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. Never punished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put a indulgent aristocrat. Oh, aristocrat, I can't say words. Indulgent aristocrat. Gosh. Uh, would you like to pay one mana? Oh, yes, stinky. Yes, I will. Okay. And then I'll put out a vampire as well. Sounds good. All right, I forgot about rhystic study. I need to pay attention to that. Cool, 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 cool. That very long for this world. Uh, this so, is, yeah. yeah. I will pass turn. <laughs> cool. It was like, I might draw a card. You know, let's see what happens. I'm going to draw for turn. It's a cool card. Wow. Your deck's full of cool cards. Mm -hmm. Your deck has no, has no pathetic cards. It, it, I actually have a pretty hot grip right now. For... Wow, a hot grip. Just drop those cards. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Attack this turn, so we're going to see it. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I like actually might be able to drop a lot of them. This is more irritating than anything, but it also kind of helps me, so I, I mean, kind of don't hate it because nobody likes Akalia, so I'm kind <laughs> of like happy no one can cast anything on my attack phase. Uh, I, I have to attack, that's the thing, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. am going, yeah, I can't, I can't play I the PC to, are one. Are you to, Master Cruelties? I'll scream. No. No, no. I'm gonna, okay. I even, honestly, even if I did have that in my hand, I wouldn't play this early because that would just be boring I'm content. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to play a Swamp. Okay. Uh, <gasps> kind of enjoy this helping me out. A swoop. You can swing at me. I don't have any flyers. She's you don't have down. any flyers. She's um, but what I will do is I will tap this to play Mama. 
Oh, Mama, 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 Mama rooms, give her rooms. Mama rooms, give her rooms. Little, little Mike guy. Yeah, yeah, little scrubby little. scrub. That, that's the dog. Of the family. That is <laughs> right? just like they're all just feeding scrub. Um, I'm gonna go to combat, <laughs> yeah. and I will swing at you, Lua. Oh my gosh, and I'm, um, I have to. <laughs> I can't swing at like Gavin. Tap, he said, "Tap giver before you go to combat." Because you, you don't have to attack with Giver if you tap it, but you do have to attack with it. If oh, you don't. I do yeah. have to yeah. attack with her. her protection or yeah, something. so I will give uh, Kalia protection from. Or you can give Mom Black. protection so that she doesn't get hit or something. But no. I can't do anything, Kalia. I mean, tap she down, can tap down, tap down. Yeah, she can tap herself too. Yeah, she's sick. But yeah. Yeah. we're all tapped out. We're not going to do anything mess with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fine. Um, I'm going to go to combat. I'll swing at Lou with Kalia. Oh, and what else? A Utvara Hellkite. So that's gonna be just a, a paltry eight points of damage. Mm -hmm. Eight points of damage, and then whenever a dragon I control attacks, I create a six-six dragon creature token with flying. I don't think I get that. Right. You do not get it yet. yet. But no, next turn. Not. But next what's turn. cool is when I do, I have that token. Oh, you have oh, it. Wow. It's rare. Yeah. It's you really do have everything here on Scribe Babies. Yeah. I know. It's, it's a rare token that I rolled over with my computer chair, so now it has a nice crease through oh, it. Oh, nice. that seems to be a theme. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Class. It's very awesome. The computer chairs have climbed many of my magic cards, especially with spell table. You like drop it on the floor, like oh, I'll just roll and grab it. Oh no, you know. Cool. Uh, I get to pass the turn after that because there's nothing else I really want to do in main two. No, I have some good good cards in here I want to hang out with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, did you, sorry, did you pay one for the mom? I assume you did. Um, I didn't, oh. but I can. If you don't want to use it. Oh no, I want. That's wanna... a good point. I think about pain, 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 pain. Okay, one, two, three. Maybe you play a creature, blow it up. You know, that you is don't know about pain much ever again. Ah. Uh. All right, so I will go ahead and tap two, and yeah. I'll pay one for the Rhystic Study, yeah. and I will do the Dockside Extortionist dance. Oh! It will what a non bow! What are you doing here? Blowing people's artifacts? I and am, but I'm limiting your tokens is what I'm trying to do. So if you'd like to sacrifice them before, you can. I'm just throwing that out there. Well, what are you going to do this turn? Are you going to do a um, bunch of mean, mean things to me, or should I let you have a bunch of I'm going to do what the deck's supposed to do, and I think I'm going to go to everybody this turn. So take that as you will. You're going to go to everybody this turn? I think turn. so. I think I'm going to try. Okay, Pretty gonna, close. You're going to go to everybody this turn. So, so how many, how many if, artifacts or enchantments if, will you have first? Before you do that, that's yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Am I missing anything? That's ten. 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 Yeah. ten. Seven at the minimum, or six at the minimum, but up to ten. Yeah, I don't have, I have them. I mean, okay. I, feel, I feel like we're going to be good buddies here. Oh, yeah. 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 So, like, don't blow my stuff up this turn. I'm going to blow your them. stuff up. I'll just make you attack. Just no, that's fine. Know. I'm happy to attack. I mean, not happy is a strong word, but I will I will attack. <laughs> okay, the dockside trigger here. I yep. will choose for... Let's try to do... I want to see what's in your hand, so I'm going to try to target this. Do you have any responses? So mm -hmm. I can get something out of your hand. Yeah, I have a response. Alrighty. I will tap this and take one. Oh, okay. And I will source splashers or commander then. Oh, All right, there, there it is. is. There it is. You. Is it my toughness or though or power? Oh, sorry. I mean, five bucks. Even nicer. Look at that. For some reason, I thought that was Rakdos, so I was like, okay, but I also don't have my glasses on, so that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good that I try to get you to do that now. Okay. I will go for the recast then. So yeah. I've got one. Uh, that's the four, and then this is the commander tax. So I will recast Marisi, Breaker mm -hmm. of the Coil, because um, I still need Giver. Um, okay, and then I'll use my last five treasure to cast. Good old Karlak, Fury of Avernus. So it says, when you attack, if it's the first combat phase this turn, untap all attacking creatures, they gain first strike until the end of turn, and then there's an additional combat phase. So oh. Karlak doesn't have to attack just as long as yeah. I attack with a creature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I have an aura shards trigger. I did yep. say I wouldn't blow up anything on your board. Thank you. Um, Can't blow anything on here. And are you paying the one for this guy? I, I unfortunately cannot. Well, mm -hmm. I, I can, but I, my Dryad Arbor is very important to me. All right, so. I'm gonna draw a card. Um, we'll do odds, evens. Wow. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna go for the soul ring. Very sad. I'm feeling really targeted. Well, I shared the love. I got rid of something here. I got rid of something yeah, there. And then I'm gonna make you guys attack each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We got two black creatures here. Um, you have a white creature. Oh man, we got all the colors on the board, so I can't give her twice and get all of you guys. But you're gonna wanna keep your mother runes. So I feel confident just flat out swinging. Well, that can't well, right? Oh, you're right, because it just came back. Oh, no. I think the cat's back. Oh, the cat is back. So I'm, I might need to swing with Giver then. Okay, so I'm going to go to my f first combat. <laughs> I won't get to be able to get everybody this time since my cat got whomped. Um, so I'm going to go to first combat. Just <laughs> swing Giver runes at you, Tori. Sure. To start off with. I'll take a little one. All right, so your current creatures are goaded. That's fine and by me. I will go to the second combat, yep. and I will tap Giver, give Dryad Arbor protection from black, and I will swing at you, Lua, for okay. one. 
What, these weren't threatening enough for you? I think so. I, I think I think that's the best threat <laughs> yeah. assessment for me. Fair enough. Um, and I will pass the turn. All right. I will untap. Draw a Magic the Gathering card. We're goaded. With the sauce. With no, the sauce. <laughs> no, you, no, no, y'all are goaded. Like G-O-A-T-E-D. Oh. You know? like if, I were, if I were to really say something, that's how I feel. Because you're the greatest goated. of all time. You're the greatest that's of why. all time. That's the greatest. Why. I was going to bat. Greatest of all Tories. <laughs> greatest of all the T's. Oh, the Tory. Yeah. Okay, okay. Can you tell they're on TikTok? My TikTok brain yeah. is so yeah, it's bad. Been a lot it's very sad. Yeah. My job yeah. revolves around memes. Yep. Tragic, right. really. It is. Well, I'm going to go one. I'm going to pay three life to my Hall of the Bandit Lord. I will cast Oakwan. I'm going to scry one from Path of Ancestry. Because scry, scry babies. What's the name of the show? Yeah. Put that on the bottom. Uh, it gains haste because I cast with Hall of the Bandit Lord. Mm -hmm. So that's something. Just that is scary for me. Yes, by the way. That is something. You're wondering. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something bold and brave. We'll see how it works out. Okay. Yeah, Let's do bold it. and brash. I'm gonna cast a spark double. Ooh. Oh. I'll have spark double enter the battlefield as a copy of Zender Split. Okay, so I've got two Zender Splits hanging out. This one has a plus one plus one counter on it, which I will snaggle tooth this. Remember when I didn't blow up your stuff? Can I do. Can you remember that? Okay. I do remember, remember that. Remember when I never attacked you with eight? I, I don't remember that, that's okay. I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> it's bad news for you, Luke, because that means he's coming at you next I'm gonna play uh, Krark's Thumb. So if I would flip a coin, so I flip two coins, and I ignore one of them. You're gonna flip some coins today, huh? So I, 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 came, I came to flip out, you know? So... Anything can happen. So you mill yourself out, got it. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. <laughs> and we're gonna put three of these triggers on the stack. So whenever I... When any of these coin flips, I will draw two cards, and this power will double, okay? And I'll make two treasure tokens. Okay. Haste. So... Those goes. Let's all find out together on what happens. Uh, fortunately, I have a second coin just for Whoa! this occasion. Oh my goodness. Th these hoodies come with so many things in them. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to flip them and we're going to, so we'll start with the first Zender split. Blue means I draw two cards and make two treasures and this doubles. That's a miss. But across the Whiff. Thumb, thumb, thumb. That's oh. a hit. So I'll draw two cards, make two treasures. This becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Next flip. That's a oh. hit. Draw two cards. Make two treasures. This becomes a 12-12. Uh, I'm going to use this dice to represent how many times we've succeeded here. We can do the calculations at the end because you got to know how big it gets. Uh, so it ended the first round here. Oh so I goodness. won 10 coin flips. So one's been doubled 10 times. So that's... 6, 12, 24, 48, 90-ish, uh, <laughs> 180, 360, 700, 1400, 2800. Okay, so it's is, pretty big. Is that can, infinite I like token? Creatures. I'm, I'm going to draw, yeah, we should get an infinite token out. I'm going to draw all these cards. Great news, everybody. I made all these treasure tokens. 2800 attack points for this Yu-Gi-Oh card. This okay. is, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> why are we playing Yu-Gi-Oh now? Yep. So, we're, we're going to go. Miss. Hey. Okay. So now it's doubled uh, three more times in total. So it's so a 20, 22,400-ish. Okay. Good cards. thing there's a 1-1 one, one vampire that can block. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll do the third round here. Gavin, I said I wanted you to play this deck and I wanted you to play it like this. <laughs> well, if you don't get to choose. All right, so we did a double oh, wow. Time, okay? The coins so, of fate so, yeah, on the so side. It's merely, whatever, 24, how big did we say it was? 22,000? Can somebody put the odds on the screen? Like, what are the odds of that it's stream only, happening? It's only a 22,000. <laughs> Thank you to our editor. <laughs> and I can't cast spells during combat. Um, but Oak One does have haste. So yeah. I, I feel good about attacking somebody. This poor old woman. <laughs> <laughs> this combo is ready to be eaten. Good, good. No better good. way to go than by a Cyclops. And I've got 26 treasures. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go Nomen. Tori, you didn't attack me. I didn't attack you either. So I can either kill a Mother of Runes, a Doxa Extortionist, Vampire. We'll go ahead and just kill off the Mother of Runes. I assume, oh. I assume you would like to block. No! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, go to my post-combat main phase. What is the thematic attack of that much attack damage from a creature? Like, thematically, how would that happen? I just feel like the whole board explodes. Like, at this point, I know it's that, but like, once that happens, it's like... Just I'm like just glad just, it doesn't have trample. Just from its yeah. like, center eyeball, just obliterating poor little mother who's trying to read a book. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna spend one ma mana to cast a Serum Visions. I'll draw a card and scry to you. Scrying? Scrying? Yeah. That's like the show Scry Babies. I put one on top room. and one on bottom. Big girls don't scry. Too bad. Right, I'm gonna spend too slow. four, and I'm gonna <laughs> cast um, Glenelander Archmage. 
Ooh. So I can use it to counter some non-creature spells. I'm going to spend one mana. I'm going to cast Orcish Captain. I'm sure you all know what this card is. Oh, yes. Does. Very we, we all know Orcish Captain. I can pay one and flip a coin. Uh, if I choose an orc, if I win the flip, the orc gets plus two plus so. If I lose the flip, the orc gets minus zero minus two. I will target Orcish Captain by spending a mana and flipping a coin. And I will flip two coins. I keep one. That's a hit. I will draw two cards. Oh, and, every time you flip. And it just so happens that one of the cards, card that I knew was on top of my library, is Chandra's Ignition. Which I will ca cast on Oakland to deal 22,000 damage to all of you and all of your creatures. Gavin! Oh, this is why I want to keep track of life. And it's, you know, what is it, a target player or is it just a target player? creature Dang. deals damage to each other creature and each opponent? I am oh. so upset right now. You have no responses. Flippers. Um, no, I don't. So unfortunately. I have thumb to blow up your thumb. That was in my hand. Oh, it was in your hand. Oh. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I held that one. You got to save it for just so, the right moment. moment. Before we go to like what we could and can't do, nobody has responses, right? So we're I, definitely I, dead. No. Okay. Nuts. What I was upset about earlier was uh, <laughs> it's stupid. I should have played my planes instead because if I swords did oh, and no. you gained all the life instead, that would be really funny. <laughs> that would be really funny. Um, but really funny. yeah, I don't. I don't have that. That doesn't do anything. And my top card is a blood artist. So. Yeah, so I'm a little bummed uh, because I blew up the when you blew up the talisman, I had to had use it. Um, right. I was holding onto this Orem's chant. Oh, could have saved our lives if someone hadn't targeted my talisman. Oh. Um, wow. Too value hungry. I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Orem's chant would have been able to save us. I should but have just known. Unfortunately, known. We had this super old. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I had a good grip. What else was in your hands? Um, I also had the Safara Skyblade. And what was your top? And my top card was. Combat Celebrant. Oh, wow. um, this actually is <laughs> would have been dangerous for me to have because as long as I could get like a tutor out or this comes out and I exert it, I can make a shit ton of dragons with this. And right. it is part of one of the infinite combos in this deck that I don't think a lot of Kalias run. Oh. Is uh, this with the Breath of Fury makes right. infinite dragons. Oh wow. Yeah. And you can attack infinite times. Anyway. Infinite times. Right. Yep. That's pretty good. That's Jeez. I mean that's not you had good stuff. Yeah. 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 So kind of bummed I didn't get to cast this card. I love this card. Yeah, I don't feel like it's played enough too. It's, it's a classic magic card right It's there. amazing. That was standard back in the day. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, I had in my hand a Shalai and a Sarath. And then my top card was oh Bayloth. So, oh, yeah. I'm glad you're playing this guy. That's I, I made that one. one. That's so cool. Look at all these so cool, cool cards. Yeah, then I would really like to see what is in your <laughs> what is in your uh, Oh my god. I mean, I had a lot of things. I mean, I yeah. could take another turn if that failed. There's yeah. a lot of stuff that I could do. It was just a lot of cards. I'm sure a there's like one or two counters in there too. Um, sure. There's actually no, no counters in here. Oh so. my god, that hurts even more. <laughs> but I would have taken another turn and just done it all over again. So. Um. And what's your top guard? Oh, we had a he had a Glenn though. Could you prevent them from being counters? Mm. Well, a target player can't cast right, this right. turn. If she had done it at the right time. It yeah. Or in response yeah. to your Glenn or something mm -hmm. yeah yep 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 uh what turn is this, this is four uh, I, 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 five. I, 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 did, I didn't find fifth land yet so this is turn five yep turn five cool wow, wow. Okay. that really went off as it turns out that was amazing yeah i i don't have words because i'm just like that was kind of amazing and really silly and really fun i'm really glad you played that <laughs> yeah no problem this is uh everyone always laughs at the coin flips and then the, you know they get hit for twenty two thousand dollars damage in the face so. twenty two thousand dollars i like how that's where you were going <laughs> You have 20,000 damage in the face. Oh, I've had my dollars. Is that what's in there too? Inside of that sweatshirt? Aww. That doesn't have everything. Here's my 22,000 dollars. Everybody yeah. reach inside your sweatshirt. Oh, Thanks gosh. So, so Gavin had mentioned their very cool hoodie over there. If you want to go check out our merchandise, we're over on Bonfire. We, we do, have very we do, cool merchandise. Yeah, we have cool hats. We have cool shirts. We have cool everything. And yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool place to shop for a casual magic like wear in general. So yeah. And, and we're uploading new designs all the time, made by yours truly. So come check us out. Uh, also, if you like episodes like this and want to support our content, please check us out on Patreon. We do have tiers as low as one US dollar. I'm sure you spent a dollar on worse, so can you lose? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for both coming here to play Magic with us today. And this was really fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Scry Babies. Tori and I would like to thank patrons like you see on the screen right now for making episodes like this possible. We would like to give a special shout out to our tier six patrons, Uncle Butts, Choo Choo Charles, and Carr, as well as our tier five patrons, Old Panda, Sid October, Ahad, Flower Fay, Killian, and Ravash. Thank you so much for being here with us. If you'd like to check out our Patreon and show some support, we have tiers as low as $1, as well as a variety of other tiers that include perks like early access to episodes, Discord, bi-weekly game nights, alongside physical rewards such as tokens, stickers, and more.